I'm George Metropolis. Uh, welcome to our shop. And I'm here with the Plexes, Metro, and Super. And since we released the Superplex earlier this year, we now have two amplifiers in our lineup. That means that everyone who's interested in one of our amps says, well, how do they compare and which one's for me? So hopefully I can help answer some of that uh, right now. Um, the Metroplex has been around for about two years. And the catalyst for this amp was my 1968 Super Lead. So that's a 100 watt Plexi with EL34 output tubes. And uh, I like that amp with one particular uh, slant 412 basket weave cab from 1967. And that cabinet has a very uh, kind of a vocal kind of forward mid range. And so those tonal qualities are built into the Metroplex. And that is the amp that I referenced while designing it. Uh, Superplex, on the other hand, originally became a concept when Owen Berry said, can I put KT66 output tubes in my Metroplex? And uh, you can, with a few caveats, and ideally you would change the output transformer for the correct impedance. And so uh, we tried that, and it didn't take long to realize that uh, there was a lot more potential there than just a Metroplex with KT66s. And so uh, I started referencing my original 45100 Marshall um, to a couple of prototypes, and then a little while later, a, a JTM45 block end. So uh, a 45 and a 45100 uh, from 1966, and those uh, have uh, GEC, KT66 output tubes. <coughs> uh, in general, the Metroplex is going to be uh, brighter, more aggressive, uh, definitely more saturation. And the, uh, the Superplex is going to be cleaner, uh, more organic, and uh, has that sort of KT66 chime. And uh, always a lot of low end. So when I'm playing my 45100, uh, you can turn the bass all the way down and the the low end, the bass frequencies, they're always kind of on the verge of too much, even with the bass control turned off. And uh, that holds true in the Superplex also, except for the fact that um, you've got a lot more range in the EQ control to dial some of the lows out and kind of clean that up. <coughs> uh, the amps feel a lot different to play. The... Uh, the Superplex kind of feels like an early Plexi or a uh, kind of the biggest, angriest tweed kind of basement you ever want to play. Uh, you definitely hear that lineage in this amp. And uh, Metroplex is just, uh, just aggressive, uh, as you'll hear. So uh, for the sake of comparisons, what I've done is uh, both amps have the gain knob pulled out, so they're in the, in the lower gain setting where the Superplex has two modes. I guess you could say it has a cleaner mode and a dirtier mode. Uh, the clean mode is based on my JTM45, so it's kind of clean and, you know, edge of breakup at five, and then it gets dirty as you dial up. Uh, where the Metroplex uh, 66 mode is gonna be the cleanest of the three, and then you've got 68, which is just like the old Super Lead, and Mod, is uh, if you took that 68 Super Lead and put some, some mods and tweaks in there to make it dirtier. <clears throat> so we've got uh, the cleaner mode on both amps. All the EQs are on five. And uh, master on the Metroplex is two. Master on the Superplex is three. Uh, because the gain staging is different, the master comes on a little later on the Superplex. So to make them uh, equal, I just had to adjust the masters. Um, using the Headmaster, and when the green LED is on, that's gonna be the Superplex. And the red LED is gonna to correspond to the Metro. Okay, so Superplex, uh, everything on five, cleaner of the modes, and it. Definitely edge of breakup. You can certainly hear the tweed influence in there. Uh, organic, early plexi sounding. Metroplex. Uh, 
So a few things. Uh, even with the gain on five and 66, already kind of dirty, chunky rhythm tones, it's breaking up. And there's a lot of mid-range, very mid-forward. Where the superplex is more scooped in the mids, it has an audio taper mid pot, so the mids come on much later in the rotation. The uh, Metroplex has a linear mid pot and more middles, more middle frequencies on tap than a typical super lead or, or vintage Marshall. <clears throat> so you have a lot more control. There's a huge range. <laughs> So this uh, 66 to me, this is classic rock, dirty rhythm tone. You know, this is like... The Superplex on five, it's just not quite there yet. You've got to, just like my, on my JTM 45, you got to get up around seven or eight to get it breaking up and get that same sort of level of uh, dirt. So uh, you can see now I've got the gain up on uh, eight and a half or so, and you start to get to about the same level gain-wise, uh, but the voicing, the frequency response is, is really strikingly different. <laughs> So uh, we can get them closer if we roll some mids out and uh, push some bass up on the Metroplex. So yeah, you can dial them closer, but to me, the uh, Metroplex always keeps that spanky upper mid-range super lead thing going on. And the uh, Superplex always stays kind of thick and sludgy. <laughs> and so uh, one quick note about the uh, 66 mode on the Metroplex. Uh, when I first started building the, this amp, it only had the 66 uh, excuse me, the 68 mode and the mod mode. And uh, people were sending them back to be modded for less gain. And so I, I put an extra mode in here. We have three modes now, and, it, uh, and I called it 66 because the level of gain from that mode was what I considered on par with like a, uh, the 66 era JTM45 and stuff. Really, if we're going to be more accurate tonally, I think... 67 era super bass uh, would be closer to what this really sounds like and that would be with el 34s so it's it's just technically a little more accurate um, but anyways for uh sake of conversation here uh that was 66. Uh, so now if we go to 68 mode on the metroplex and go to my favorite settings which is about six and a half or seven on the gain mids cut back just a bit maybe to four Base kind of depends on which cabinet we're using. Uh, but this is going to be your iconic kind of classic super lead overdrive. Uh, this should be instantly familiar. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
that's just great dirty british rock tone to me <laughs> Okay, so if we want to get into that territory with a superplex, uh, now we go in, need to go into the dirtier mode. And again, it's still up around uh, eight and a half or nine. And uh, it will get about the same level of gain, but it's a, 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 a very much a different flavor and it feels a lot different under my fingers too. <laughs> So uh, definitely a different tonal flavor, uh, very thick, both about the same game, gain levels overall, uh, different animals really. <laughs> And just like on the Metroplex, the uh, the range of mids available in the middle control is uh, pretty drastic. So. Uh, you can probably hear by comparison the the middle frequencies on the Superplex are uh, centered a little higher, and it's a much more broad uh, sort of range of frequencies. It's a little more focused, a uh, little not as broad and focused right around 800 hertz, right in the real vocal area on the Metroplex. <laughs> Okay, so the Metroplex has the third mode, and this is going to be mod mode, which alludes to modding an original super lead. Uh, this is kind of my take on the kind of mod you might have done in the late 70s or through the 80s. And uh, it's really about as aggressive as a super lead circuit gets without um, adding more gain stages or anything, so. <clears throat> So that's mod, and this is 68, and this is And if you if you scoop the mids out, you can get downright metal on this thing.
Okay, back to 68 mode. Uh, so you may have noticed, but the, the middle control to me is really the whole key to voicing on this entire Metroplex design. Uh, the overall response of the amp in as far as uh, being centered in guitar frequencies are all right in this control. Up to five now. Now uh, eight. really start getting into some uh, kind of voxy type tones. Okay, so that is the uh, sort of the modes compared on these two. Uh, there was a question recently um, about how the cleans on the Metroplex compared to cleans on the Superplex. Uh, if I'm being honest, the Superplex does clean tones much more just inherently. It's just naturally a more of a clean sort of voiced amp. But let's see how close we can get with the Metro. This is the uh, Superplex. iconic plexi sounding clean tones. Let's go to Metroplex and get the gain down. Uh, it's on only two right now. Um, still has a, uh, a distinctly chimey kind of a, kind of a bite. It's got the uh, iconic super lead voicing thing happening and it never really goes out. Might be able to get a little closer with the uh, low input jack. So there are cleans in the Metroplex, but they just don't come as effortlessly, in my opinion. Uh, so if you're looking for a predominantly clean amp, for my money, that's going to be the Superplex. Or if you want to get all your dirt from pedals, you know, you do the pedal platform thing. That to me is more Superplex, but they both work and they both take pedals great.
Okay, so uh, common to both amps is a built-in boost circuit that has its own gain control and its own master volume. So on both amps, if you turn the boost gain all the way down and uh, activate the boost, then what you effectively have is a switchable master volume. So you can change volume levels and not change your tone. If you want to add more saturation, you just dial up the gain control. And uh, although it's exactly the same circuit, the, uh, the way that the boost hits the front, uh, because it's right before the first preamp tube, it, it hits the preamp a little differently and it, the result is a little different. So uh, let's turn the boost on, Metroplex. Here is uh, 66 mode with the boost on. <laughs> go to uh, 68 mode with the boost on. So one of my favorite tricks with the boost on the Metroplex is once you get the gain up around eight and a half or nine, uh, it effectively becomes like a fuzz pedal because the, uh, the signal is going completely square wave into the first preamp tube. So it turns into a fuzz and if you go to the next pickup you get the... So that's a blast. Um, on the Superplex. Here's our basic dirty tone from the uh, 66, or, excuse me, from the, uh, the uh, less gainy mode. So the uh, gain pot is out. And let's turn boost on. And on the Superplex, there are uh, many treble and bass EQ controls for the boost circuit, circuit specifically. So if you turn these uh, both all the way down and roll this up, you get like a mid rangey kind of a boost. To be flat, you need the bass right around uh, uh, like nine o'clock and the treble right around noon. So no boost. And boost with gain around uh, eight. But my favorite thing to do with this one is Gain around nine, treble about two or three o'clock, bass around eight or nine o'clock. And when you set it this way, it hits the amp as though, uh, like it was a treble booster, like a 60s treble booster hitting uh, the front end of a 60s, you know, like a, a Plexi or a British style amp. So it turns into that kind of real hairy treble boosted like. <laughs>
That's great for all of those kind of cream and Zeppelin era stuff. Um, you know. Real fuzzy, real bright. It's definitely got all kinds of hair on the tone. Um, I know that track might have been direct fuzz or overdriving a uh, an old mic pre or something. <laughs> I know Paige did that a lot, so if somebody knows, put it in the comments for me, please. Uh, so <clears throat> this is a pretty good overview of the uh, kind of the where these amps share some tonal common ground and where they, they definitely go different directions. They're completely different animals, and although they're both uh, thoroughly British in tone and plexi in tone. Uh, it's definitely super plexes, the early plexes and the, uh, you know, like the big hairy tweed kind of a thing. And the Metroplex really picks up from about 67, 68 and goes forward from there. So uh, I'm going to make a bunch of more videos because I haven't even touched on the Variac or the half power switch or the switchable loops or anything else yet. Um, or the all the design work that went into the master volumes and stuff. So I uh, hope this helped for now. And if you're interested in one of these amps and you want to talk about it some more, just give us a call or shoot us an email. And you can visit us at metropolis.net. And so thanks a lot.